Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brindleton Boathouse and the Sims Cats and Dogs. So, today I am really really hoping that we can make enough money to um, get this vet business underway. We definitely definitely are getting there, a couple of thousand in the bank now. We should be enough to build a building, a small one, but some kind of building. Oh, At least get the walls and floor in. Even if it's just a tiny little box of a room. Um, but some of the equipment we're going to need, I don't think we have time for. Uh, sorry, we don't have the funds for at the moment. So we're going to have to save up. Also need to spend a little bit of time. What are you doing? Also spend a little bit of time um, with Zangiri. Trying to make him feel a little bit better. What are you guys doing? You know, you you you're about to do like you remember gladiators? They look like they're about to have a fight to look on gladiators. They need those like big sticks. Oh, no one knows what I'm talking about. That was years ago. Anyway, what's Caitlin up to? How's she feeling? What's the point? Just a little bit hungry, but that's fine. The cats have actually having these two food bowls seems to be helping quite a bit. A little a little mule coming from over here. I think we might need more scratching posts soon. We do have two though, that's not so bad. That's just fallen feeling. Ooh. We could get a promotion if we could get a level six in the charisma skill. Hmm. People keep saying to me it's really strange that she's like this complete shot in that has charisma skill and I explain that away by saying when she is online and she's writing her vlogs and she's doing things online, she's very charismatic. In real life, she's kind of kooky. Because to be honest, even with all her charisma, her mad moods do make her difficult to get along with. Oh, Lux. Oh. Did someone scratch the cat statue? Is that what she's trying to say there? No. Is something being scratched? She's she's never happy with all these scratches that happen everywhere. No, it's not scratched. I mean, they seem to be using their litter boxes and their scratching posts. That's not so bad. What do you all want? You all want hugs. This house is getting a bit crazy now. But what I'll be wanting is the same no. sort of setup in the vets as I've got here. So it's going to be a, like a really nice, well eventually anyway, a nice place for cats to be. So it's going to have like a cat playroom in it effectively. I might not be able to do that straight away, but I will be getting that done. So I think it's time to hug as many cats as we can. Scratch favourite spot, that sounds good. I don't think we want to scare anyone. Lecture about scratching. Oh, right. Guess who was scratching? Well, we can do that. I'm mostly trying to make the cats happy. But if discipline is needed, discipline shall be had. Zankiri should be around somewhere because he can't really leave the house. Until he has a grown kitty and then he can go prowling. So cute. Get to know, I think. Try and get these cats happy as I can. Mobba. Except Hando. for Colleen, because Colleen deserves well, telling off. Oh, yep, Colleen, you're getting told off. Everyone else gets hugs, you get told off because you've been naughty. Okay. So Zangiri's going to get a get to know. That scratching animation slightly off. Ah, them can say so. <laughs> Ixius is a is a cat that can walk through walls. She's a special kind of ghost cat. Ooh. Actually, I sometimes think that one of the funnest things about the, 
the Sims actually has some of the graphical glitches. Like, I, I still remember her eating with Twistful and attached to her hand. It was hilarious. They don't stay happy from hugs for long, do they? Hey. Oh, I can become companions with, I think, Tristful then. Wow, that was the loudest sound effect ever in the world. So we have a really good relationship with all of our cats here. Colleen obviously is a younger cat, so she has uh, taken a little bit longer to get to know us. Zangiri is very new to the house. But Tilly and Ixius, who are the cats that have been here the longest, are full. Tristfallen is very nearly full. Um, yeah, so just working on Colleen and Zangiri, mostly for relationship status anyway. And then just keeping them all happy. Oh, Tilly got a hug. I didn't even have to tell her to do that. Oh, Tilly didn't like the hug. What's wrong, Tilly? Are you unhappy? Are you are you ill? What's wrong? Yambala Azig. You need the litter tray? Well it's oh. I was gonna say it's right there. I think it may be time when we get our next paycheck to uh, do to get another litter box. Right, so I, th I think now we're going to spend a little bit of time on career stuff. We've spent a good amount of time with the cats. Tilly will be fine once she goes to the loo. And then the litter box will deal with that itself. Now what can we do? Can we do something on the computer to increase charisma? I can't remember. There was something I could do, I think. Write jokes. Practice writing. Let's look charisma. Okay, so conversations or the mirror. Okay, you know it is definitely just the mirror then. So let's go upstairs. Tell her to practice her speech. We've got two points of this to get, so I'm really hoping that she's somewhere near the top of her... I don't think she will be. I think I probably just, like, told her to stop last time, like, when she was literally got the first skill. So she's going to have two, probably two full skill points of charisma to get. Oh, no, actually, she has been gaining some. Somehow. The flea market! Should we maybe go to the flea market, see if there's anything cool we can get? We don't have any money, though. So maybe we'll go next week when we actually have something to spend there, because it would be really cool to get individual items that you can't get in the catalogue and things like that, but... Going to speed this up. No one wants to see you talking to a mirror for, like, four million hours. So Christmas 5 won't take too long. So now I'm going to go just have a quick look at all the cats. See how they're all doing. There's nobody particularly... Particularly uh, having a hard time or anything. Just uh, hanging out on the porch. Was just falling. Just having a little wander. Being a loner cat. Ixius is just coming down the stairs there. Colleen is just out, off outside. And Zangiri is being cute and tiny and looking like toothless. And going to the loo. So we'll leave him in privacy. Yeah, I'll speed it up a little bit again. Like when I'm gaining skills in this sort of way, it's not a very natural way. It's a little bit of a forced way and it's not the most interesting. Oh, Eve. No, no, it's fine. At the moment, I'm working on stuff. However, the top of my career can't be far away. I mean, let's see how far through my career I am. Does it tell me? No, it just tells me how much for promotion. Oh, here we are, PR6. So usually there's 10 levels. 
That's pretty cool. So you're the key contact for anything with the press. Interviews are in your hands and it's up to you to deal with the crazy demands of the celebrities. You won't go insane until you're finished picking out the pink candies from the, a third bag. But some have been known to lose it after two bags. I can't remember which star it is that... Uh, well, I, I don't know whether that's another sort of old wives' tale, a little bit of an urban legend that there are some stars that want the M&Ms picked out, certain colours and things like that, but... Uh, I sometimes think that like there are certain people who feel that they have to be powerful over other people and asking people to do things that are very menial like that makes them feel like they have power and I don't know really why that is necessary but uh, yes maybe if I'm ever rich and famous I want to do that just because I can I don't think so though Oh, okay, let's speed this up a little bit. You're nearly halfway there. Done all the work for the day, so we're just working on promotion now. So that's what we do. We work on getting our assignment done, and then we work on the promotional stuff. Good job she's in the bathroom, because she's going to need a bath. And I think a bath would be better. Okay, let's um have a break from that for now. Have a little break, and we're going to jump in the bath. Because there's no point in, in making her feel really, really bad just to get a, a skill point. So she go have a bath, go and um, have something to eat, play with the cats for a little bit, because they haven't been played with. Was someone thinking about fleas there? They better not have been. So apparently the porch is like to the total cat hangout. It is like the place to be if you're a cat. So if we make another house, we need to make sure that we have some decking or a porch. Oh, the cat gift. Cat gift. I shall tidy that up for you. And I'm hoping that that will be something nice. Fingers crossed. She's got to finish her bath first, though. You having a nice time in there? It looks good. Didn't really add any bubbles today. We just had a, a normal bath. Just to, just to get us clean. But the bathtub is a really nice bathtub. Uh, she needs to clean her shower really badly. So I'll maybe do that after we open the cat present. And uh, she's going to need to eat something. Hmm. I wonder what she'd have today. Something nice and healthy, I think. Home style pet recipe. Beef and chicken fish cake. Oh, cool. I can make, like... See, this is the nice thing about having two of these because one will still be full and I know to fill the other one up. Whereas if I just have one and it gets empty, it might be a little while before I notice. A ball, ball, ball. Stop finding balls and find something useful. Right, so we're going to cook... What's pan de mur to? I don't even know what that is. I'll watch her make it and see if it gives me a clue. <laughs> Vegetarian safe, so... I'm not entirely sure what that's got in it. But I'm always interested in things that I don't know what they are. Like, I'm very much in Cook, Serve, Delicious, for example. I'm like... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, and it's actually inspired me. I really want to go to a Mexican restaurant scene and try out some Mexican dishes because I haven't really ever in my life been much for Mexican food, but I think it might be something that I might like. I might find things I like there. Good to try these things. The other thing I want to try, uh, we're going away to Edinburgh for Hogmanay over New Year and there's um, a I think it's a Vietnamese restaurant in Edinburgh that I want to try as well so I'll tell you how that goes 
in like a month. Blue confetti cake and chili. So so what did she oh what did she chop up there? It looks to me like she's cooking a chicken breast, but not sure. So someone's meowing their head off somewhere. I think it's Angiri. It sounded like a kitten meow. Oh. He's sleeping in his bed. Probably need more beds, but then half the cats just like don't really care. They just lie on the floor anyway, so I don't even know why I bother with beds for them. Oh gee, we need to clean this now. So that is a gourmet pet food, so no doubt Colleen will be after that soon. It doesn't go into the pet food bowl though. So this just looks like sort of kibble. Good for feeding lots of cats at once. What are we making now? Oh, right, that first thing was the pet food. Right, so that makes sense as to why it looks like a piece of chicken or something or fish. She is not feeling good though. What happened there? There was music. Cooking level six. Oh, that's all right. Where's my five? When does work start? 8 a.m. and we are at 6 p.m. We've had oh, that's why we did all the work. We've had all weekend to do our work. So it was kind of batter. Surprise, surprise! Who's eating that food? So it was a kind of batter that she put in the oven, and now she's got like a kind of. It looks like some sort of cake, actually. Or bread. Looks nice, though. I'm sure it's filling and yummy. And uh, when she's eaten that, we will go upstairs. Go to the loo. And then hop straight into bed, I think. And I don't think uh, we're going to probably quite have time to get the Christmas 6. Charisma 5 has been reached, and that's the main thing, I think. Oh, I think the shower did get cleaned as well. Fantastic. It looks a lot nicer in here now, other than the big puddle on the floor. The cats will probably lick now, because they're disgusting. But I'm loving having the bathroom now. Like This was such an unused space in this house, and I think it's so much better now it's a, an upstairs bathroom. For the, you know, For the purposes of Caitlin, anyway, she... Oh, who's meowing? Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time for much more playing today, cats, I'm afraid. It's going to be sleepy time soon, I think, for everyone. But luckily, cats are quite independent. I don't think I would have been able to have this many dogs. I think dogs would probably need a bit more attention than the cats do. Their Cats have their own like little independent thing going on, you know? Uh, no. I'm asleep. Go away. Not come around at midnight. Okay, so tenseness is a thing, apparently. Maybe Caitlin could make some chilli. Yum. Cooking level six. She's actually doing really well at cooking. But fun is needed first, I think. Well, actually, no. Hunger is quicker to sort out, but... I'm still putting the plates in the bin. I'm terrible for that. Grrr, she's so angry. She likes to read, actually. But I like her to play games. Play the refuge. I kind of, I don't know why I kind of imagine that's a bit like Seven Days to Die or something. I don't know why I imagine that, but I do. I love that game. It's so cool. It's not quite as cute as something like The Sims, but it is lots of fun. It's a little bit grindy as well. I like The Sims because it tells like a, a story. The cats are always doing something funny, like look at Zangiri sleeping. See if we can Simstagram that quickly. 
That is funny. Oh, can't get a good angle on it. Nightmare. Filters, flash, pitch up. I have to just take it like that. That's a shame. I would have liked to have gotten a better angle on that one. Oh, oh maybe the one on the side, actually. Uh -huh. Try and see Instagram him again. I need to get better with these filters and things. So there's a plus and a minus there. Is that a zoom? Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. That's an awesome one. Yeah, we just needed to turn it to get the bed out of the way. Oh, that's going to be the best photo ever. I'm going to use that for my thumbnail. I don't even care what the episode's about. I'm using that for my thumbnail. Who can resist watching an episode with a cute sleeping cat that looks exactly like Toothless? Who could resist that? A little button for uh, transferring to the venue there, which is pretty good. I am so sad. Probably because I let myself get tense. Could donate to an online charity. I think at the moment... I'm just going to let her do whatever she wants to do for fun. Whatever you want to do for fun, you do that for a little bit. Surely playing laser pointer with a cat would be more fun than reading a book, right? Play laser pointer with Zangiri. Play laser pointer. Oh. Ninety dollars to fix all the scratches that Colleen has put on the sofa. I always know which pet has done something wrong. Like, in my real life, I know that as well. Like, when I came into the kitchen to find the fridge open, I knew who'd done it. I knew exactly who'd done it. It was Tally Ferret. <laughs> and I know that because she's always oh. trying to get in the fridge. <laughs> and she's now succeeded, so he's going to make her try even more. So now she's not allowed anywhere near the fridge on her own. Are we having fun? Yeah, look how much fun was had there. Laser pointer for the win. Fun and social both on three there when you do laser pointer. Laser pointer is best. I'm going to clean up the uh, surfaces. There's a great party going on at the nightclub right now. Want to check it out? You gonna go to a party at the nightclub? Go on. We can come back soon. We're gonna go. We're gonna go in our pajamas. I bet you'll go in her pajamas. Nah, she won't actually. She'll she'll change. She'll change totally. She won't go in her pajamas. Okay, so this is the disco tech pan Europa. Ah, Sounds banging. <sighs> If they're gonna check this out. Huh. Oh, there's a DJ in here. She doesn't entirely look dressed for the part, uh, but never mind. She needs to maintain at least one friendship. So I'm a party goer now. I am a young adult, you know. Flirty introduction. Caitlin is too sad to do a flirty introduction. Who's that? Your hair is so cool. Candy. I want that hair.
I would never be brave enough to have that hair. I would have to completely bleach my hair out to do that. And I don't really want to completely bleach my hair out. <laughs> I have dark hair. Uh -huh. Ow! Around the same colour as Caitlyn. No, a little bit browner. Maybe that's sort of mid-level brown. I like the, the disco lights and things on there. They're pretty cool. The lights on the floor as well. Maybe. Caitlin's kind of thinking that maybe after the vet clinic becomes uh, a success. Oh, she's having a bad time socially. Oh. She's a bit too hungry, I think. I wonder if she could get some bar snacks. No. Make pet drink. If I get a mixology too, I can make my pet a drink. I spend my entire life trying to get my pets not to drink my stuff. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do. Get them a special drink, like cat milk or something. Let's have a quick chat to Eve before we go. We've had a little dance now. I can't even, I can't target her. She's too busy walking around. Um, oh. Gee, did I, did I do something I need to apologize for now? Typical. Typical Caitlyn. Mucking up all her social interactions. Needs my help all the time. Very uncomfortable. What? How am I suddenly now a DJ? Oh no, we need all the special effects. I have $446 worth of bills in my mailbox. I was supposed to have reduced bills. How come they've gone up so much? It's all those pet feeders. And laser lit litter trays. <laughs> laser kitty litter tray is what I was trying to say there. Okay, I think we need to go home. You're looking rather uncomfortable. I can't go home right now. What? Oh, because I already am, probably. <laughs> Dance the night away. Yeah, I don't think that's quite Caitlyn's scene. She's not enjoying this too much. Why can't she go home? Yeah, we're, we're going to end this early and we're going to go home. It was nice to nice to check this place out. It's a lovely looking nightclub. I might do that, do a sim like that at one point. If I ever do something like a Rags of Riches or... I don't know, people have asked for possible... Um, new series of like challenges and stuff so i might do like a challenge series or something just to keep it interesting and we might do a very different character like one that likes nightclubs and likes socializing as a party animal and just their whole dream in life is to be a dj or and mix drinks and have a nightclub we could do something along those lines which would be pretty awesome obviously with the new pet expansion coming out i wanted to do pets there's cars driving around. Why can't I have a car? I loved having cars in the old Sims, and you can never have them anymore. Sucks. Want a car expansion? Okay, so we're a little bit hungry right now. Could should have gone to a restaurant really. So let's have a breakfast and so let's have something decent like um, scrambled egg and bacon. Let's have that. Haven't really made much money though. Ah, we should be making money in just a minute though. So if we can get upstairs and fix our charisma, we might even get a promotion. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that in time. I'll do a practice speech just anyway. We need to we need to get that sorted. Mind you, now the weekend is over because she only seems to work Monday to Friday, I think. Um, so we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to be getting promotions in. 
you know, the weekend, she shouldn't really have gone out on a school night. Bad, Caitlin. That's what I call it if you've got to be up for something in the morning after uh, after you've gone out. It's called going out on a school night. Even if you don't go to school, it doesn't matter. She made 1,134. Woot! Well, that's another... What? Where is my thousand? 130... Uh, excuse me? Where's my pay? It's not in there. Um, I have to pay bills here. Why have I not got my pay? That's a bug. That's not fair. I'll have to do without it for today. But yeah, I'd better not start having trouble getting my pay in because that's that's rubbish. Like seriously, if I made a thousand, I don't expect to see my bank balance at a hundred. It might still update itself. Possibly. I'm really disappointed in that. I was hoping I would maybe be able to go and do some stuff at the vet clinic. I'll try and do some stuff over there before we finish. So i get the charisma up to six. But at this rate, I'm going to have to take money out of the business just to pay the bills, just because my work didn't pay me. Why are we uncomfortable? We need sleep. Oh, nightmare. Why do we need sleep for? So, use the toilet and go to sleep. And I think that maybe... Oh, port to port combat. Yes. It's just like cattails. Fighting squirrels. Well, in cattails, you fight other cats and you hunt squirrels. So it's kind of a little different. But not too different. So as soon as we hit level 6, we will be... Come on. Nearly there. Oh, she didn't quite hit it. Okay, well, as she has a little sleep there, I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, what is that all about? And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Sims, then please do subscribe to the channel. And I will let you know when the new videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.